Hello everyone and welcome to hashtag 365 days of samples. I hope you are all doing well. This is probably going to be a pretty quick update because yes, I am still sick. So anyway, let's start with the products that I would not purchase the full size of. So I'm going to start with the worst product first and this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Nightcap Overnight Perfector. So I hated the smell of this so much I could only use this one time. There's enough still left in the packet that I could probably use it one or two more times but I cannot stand the smell. It is very heavily fragranced. It's very floral perfumey and it's very strong and it lingers forever like it does not leave your hair so um i i could not stand the smell of it the minute i put it in and i wanted to rinse it out immediately and a couple of hours later i was having trouble sleeping because all i could focus on was the scent and i wanted to rinse it out but i decided no i was going to grin and bear it and then the next day when i rinsed my hair out um nothing miraculous at all zero improvement in my hair. If anything, my hair was more tangled and I needed to use more conditioner than if I just left my hair alone. So I was really unimpressed with this stuff, especially because it says it's supposed to give you visibly healthy hair that's manageable, soft, shiny, strong, vibrant, and lasts for days. Like I have really high hopes. I thought this was going to be like a good treatment for my hair and my hair was going to be like softer and, and smoother and I just, no, it was not at all, not even a little bit. So this stuff sucked so bad. If I ever get another sample of this stuff, I will be passing it on right away. I do not ever want to use this ever again. Can't stand it. I can still smell it right now and I just can't wait to throw this in the trash. And the next product that I would not purchase the full size of is the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. I followed the instructions. I used it in the evening and then used it the next day and just, you know, kept going like that. And I noticed no improvement in the way that my lips looked at all. Like they do not look any different than when I started using this. No improvement at all. So it was just like a lip gloss. So I don't like lip glosses. I just tried to use it because I thought it was going to be a treatment that was going to make my lips look bigger because I feel like my lips are kind of small in comparison to like the rest of my features. So this just didn't do anything to help me. And the third thing is from Ren. It's the Flash Rinse One Minute Facial with Water Activated Vitamin C. Um, I did a first impression thing on Snapchat where I just like this is my bare face before, this is what my face looked like with the product on, this is what my face looks like with the product off of it. Um, a very minor improvement, but I did like it because my skin felt better. I didn't really see a difference, but I could feel a bit of a difference, and I loved the smell because it's vitamin C, so it just like smelled like I had orange juice on my face, which sounds kind of gross, but I really love orange juice, so I liked the smell of it a lot. Um, I got one more use out of it, and the second time I used it, I was just like, um, you know, I'm not really impressed by it. I liked it the first time and I think it was just kind of like the novelty of it, like, hey, this is kind of cool. You massage it on your face and then you um, wet your fingertips and then you massage your wet fingertips into your face to activate the vitamin C. And it was kind of a cool, quick thing and I liked it and I liked the smell of it. And the second time I used it, I was just like, okay, realistically, I am not gonna buy something just because I kind of like the smell. I know that there's a lot of products and a lot of skincare that use vitamin C and that have that sort of citrusy smell. So I'm not just gonna purchase something because it's kind of okay. If I noticed that my skin looked really good while using it, maybe I'd consider it, but I just didn't notice enough improvement in the way that my skin looked to justify purchasing it. Now I did like it. So if someone was to give it to me, I would gladly use it, but I just wouldn't spend my own money on it. So that's the difference. It wasn't a product that I hated, like the living proof thing. It's just not one that I see worth spending my money on, but that I would use. And the fourth and final product that I would not purchase the full size of is the Replica Flower Market Perfume. So I do like the smell of this, and I mentioned it um, before in my last update that it's sort of this like whimsical smell, and it really just smells like you're walking through a flower market, like it's very light and kind of refreshing. Um, but the more I used it, the more I was like, this really isn't me. I like it, it smells nice, but it just didn't seem to fit with me. It's a fragrance that I feel like goes with a certain kind of personality and type, and it's not really who I am right now. Like, it, it's something I picture someone who like wears a lot of dresses and is just really like feminine wearing, and I'm not really like that in my day-to-day -day life, so I like more of a harder-edged kind of fragrance. Maybe I would change my mind if I had used this in like the spring, summertime, but right now I'm like, I can't really get behind this. It's nice, it's pleasant, but it just doesn't seem to mesh with my personality as nice as it smells. Um, and just like the, with the red one, if someone was to buy this for me, I think I'd use it. I just don't think I would spend my money myself. 
So that leaves me with one product that I would purchase the full size of, and this should come as no surprise to anyone who watched this series last year. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I used a couple of samples of it last year and absolutely fell in love. This is a wonderful cleanser. Like, my favorite cleanser that I've used recently, I really, really want to purchase this one. I've mentioned it a few times. I'm just trying to get rid of some of the other ones I have. I have a couple of full sizes still hanging on. Once they're all gone, I'm going to be purchasing the full size of this because it's so gentle, yet it's so smooth, and my skin is instantly clean. Like, it feels clean and soft to the touch, and I just, I love the way that my skin looks and feels once I use this. It really does sort of take away all the dirt and grime on my face, any leftover makeup or anything that's on there, it just wipes it all away super easily. I don't have to rub at my face, I don't have to tug anywhere, it just is so gentle but so effective and I am just looking forward to when I have the full size of it because I just, I really do enjoy using this cleanser so much. Alright, so for products that I still have remaining, I'm just going to go through these kind of quickly. Um, this is the Laura Mercier Blemishless Foundation Primer. I cut it open because that's how much I like it. Um, I mentioned in my last update that I liked it and then I would keep you guys updated. And I love it. What can I say? I'm willing to work for it because I really do like it. Um, this foundation primer will definitely be finding a place in my full collection once it's gone because I love the way that it looks so much. Like I will be repurchasing it immediately um, once I get a few more primers and stuff gone. but. I really like it. I love the way that it makes my skin look. I feel like it's been helping with some of my breakout issues because my skin has just been a hot mess recently and now especially where I'm sick and I just like I've been kind of lax on my skincare because I just really haven't had the energy to be dealing with it um, too much. I've been mostly just concerned with taking my makeup off so my skin isn't in the best condition right now um, and I know that but this stuff seems to be really helping and even stuff like hormonal breakouts have really been curbed because of this primer because this is the only kind of additional thing I have in my routine that would fight acne. So really love this primer a lot um, and I will definitely have it finished by the next update. It'll probably be finished within the next day or two. I've made a lot of progress on my Laneige Water Bank Serum. This is a very hydrating serum. You only need a couple little pumps to do your whole face so this has lasted me a while and I don't mind that because I really like this. It's been helping combat the dryness that my skin has been dealing with over the last couple of weeks, especially with being sick and all that sort of stuff that goes along with it, I've been dealing with a lot more dryness than usual and this has been helping it. Yeah, even just a little bit, a little bit helps. So um, I still really like this serum. The two makeup products that are in here are the hardest things to use just because I'm using so many other makeup products in my other project pans. These ones I'm not really focusing on to be completely honest. So I'm not sh quite sure how I'm gonna handle that right now. I might put them in there um, until the next update and then maybe I'll pull them out. Not necessarily to declutter, but just to kind of give myself a break. Um, the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer um, I've only used this a couple of times. Like, there's really nothing to show on here. I did use it today to try and warm up my face a little bit. I'm not totally crazy about it, but I don't hate it. Um, I, I'm just not a really big bronzer person, but every now and then I do like it. So, like, it kind of serves a purpose, and I'd rather have something like this in my collection than have a full-size bronzer that's not getting used. I'd rather have the little guy because then I can just reach for it when I need to, and I don't really need to feel bad about not using it because I didn't really spend any money on it. And the Nude Sticks Magnetic Eye Color in Angel, I'm thinking really hard about putting this in um, with my other eye crayons just because it's really not getting a lot of use, and I don't feel like it's going to because I have so many other eye bases and so many other eyeshadows and stuff that I'm working on, like, this is not a priority for me. My, like, Project Pay and Porn and Pay Matte Palette stuff is more priority than, than this is, so I might put this back in my collection because it's still in good shape. I'm not worried about it expiring or anything right now so maybe I'll kind of try, try these things out realize I kind of like them they're okay and then once I have like a, a semi-solid opinion on them if I like it enough to keep it I'll just go back in my collection and if I don't like it enough then I can give it away or declutter it so um, I'm kind of torn between what I want to do because I do want to get rid of some deluxe size products but I also don't want to just get rid of stuff just to get rid of it um, that's not what I'm about either. So I want to make sure that I have stuff that I actually like and that I'm going to be using. Next is the Fresh Rose Face Mask. This is a pretty good mask. I have about half of it left. It's a hydrating mask and it's pretty nice, especially around my nose area, which has been really dry lately because I've been blowing my nose a lot because I've been sick. So it just helps to reduce sort of the redness and some of that like scaly patchiness. If you know what I mean, if you have like a dry nose where like nothing seems to sit right on there, like my foundation 
here today. I just could not get it to sit right because my nose is so incredibly dry right now. Um, so this is helping a little bit. Um, it's pretty, it's, it's a good, I don't know if I will necessarily purchase the full size of this thing, but it's been nice to, to use it here and there. And I do have one thing that I added in. So I asked you guys in the previous update if you would be okay with me choosing more products throughout the week. And the overwhelming majority of you said no, because you like watching me choose the items. So I totally get that, totally respect your guys' opinion, and I make these videos for you. So I'm going to respect that. But in this case, I needed a new moisturizer to use. And I just did not have another full size to use. So I had to resort to my sample bin, and I pulled out the renewed Hope in a jar moisturizer because I know I really like it. Um, I've only used it about twice so there's not a whole lot to show in here anyway um, but I'm just gonna throw this into the rotation because I needed a moisturizer and I wanted something hydrating and something that I could rely on. Alright so the sample bin. I'm gonna try choosing samples this week like I do with my lipstick roulette. If you guys aren't watching my lipstick roulette you totally should. It's the video that I upload on Sundays when I'm not uploading a sample video. Um, it's just me going through all of my lipsticks. So what I do in that one is I choose and show as opposed to choosing all and then showing them all. Um, it's just a little different way of doing it. So I'm gonna try doing it this way this week. Let me know if you like it or if you want me to go back to the way that I did it previously. Um, again, like I tend to do, I will do majority rules. So I'm gonna choose five products this week focusing more on smaller products. I'm going to try and avoid feeling for some of these larger products just because I have so many of them right now. So the first thing I have here is the Sephora Pearl Sleeping Mask. Product number two is going to be uh, this Fresh Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. Product number three is going to be this product from Lancome. It is the Eye on Correction Advanced Multi Correcting Eye Balm. Product four is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. And the fifth and final product that I'm choosing for this week is going to be uh, this Atelier Cologne. I can't pronounce it. Um, something Soleil perhaps something citrusy. So that is everything for this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize if things got a little bit weird. I've been coughing pretty much after every second sentence. My throat is really sore. So after this video, I think I'll be taking a little break from YouTube until my voice comes back fully. Um, I just keep pushing myself uh, and talking more than I should and it's not helping. So I hope you guys understand. I really do appreciate all your love and support on my previous videos. It really means a lot. And I hope I will see you in my next video, which hopefully will be sooner rather than later. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week, a very happy Monday, and I will see you soon. Bye.